Good morning, grade 4. Welcome back to grade 4 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So we have already seen measurements are units of length. We learned how to add or subtract different measurements and units of length. Today, we'll learn about the different measurements and conversions of units of weight. Now, talking about weight, what do you mean by weight? You can say weight is the measure of heaviness of an object. And we have some common units that we use to represent weights. Commonly used units are gram and kilogram. And we also use milligrams to represent very small weights. The standard unit of weight is kilogram, which is represented with the letters kg, small letters kg. Now, how do we measure weight? With what do we measure weight? See, we can measure weight using a weighing balance. You all are familiar with checking your body weight using a weight scale like this one. And here you can see a few different types of weighing balances. The one in the middle, this one is called a beam balance. And it has got two pans. In one pan, you put some set weights, solid weights, and the other pan, and in the other pan, you put what you want to measure. So the beam balance, it uses different blocks of weights like this. And you might have seen a weighing balance like this when you go to shops with your parents. Suppose you are buying vegetables, you might have seen the shopkeeper will put the vegetables you bought in one pan like this and he'll keep on adding solid weights, blocks of weights in the other side. So once the two sides are balanced, you'll be able to find out the weight of vegetables that you bought. And with it, you'll be able to calculate the cost of the vegetables that you bought. So next time when you go shopping with your parents, look for weighing balances like this. There are a few types available. Maybe you'll be able to find one like this. Now, we'll talk about a few different units of weight. So you have already learned this in your lower classes. So you already know one kilogram means it is thousand grams. Like the word kilo such as kilo means thousand. One kilogram means it's thousand grams. And if one kilogram equal to thousand gram, what would be two kilogram? It would be two into thousand or two thousand gram. Three kilogram will be 3000 gram, 5 kilogram will be 5000 gram and so on. Now, if 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram, how would you find out what is 1 gram? See, 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram. Now, what is 1 gram then from this? How can we find out that? See, here it is 1000 gram. How can we make it 1 gram? If we divide this by 1000, we'll get 1000 by 1000 equals 1 gram here, right? So if you are dividing it on this side, you have to do the same on this side, right? So you are dividing both sides by 1000. Here also divided by 1000. So on the right side, you get 1000 divided by 1000 is equal to 1. So it is 1 gram. Now on the left side, you get 1 kilogram by 1000. So see 1 kilogram by 1000 or 1 by 1000 kilogram is equal to 1 gram. So 1 kilogram equal to 1000 gram, 1 gram equal to 1 by 1000 like this. Dividing both sides by 1000. So we get 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kilogram. Now if you cross multiply this 1000 towards here, you'll get 1 into 1000. 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. You can cross multiply and check if you are writing it correctly. So just keep in mind 1 kilogram equal to 1000 gram and 1 by 1000 of a kilogram would be 1 gram. Now 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligram. So just like in the previous case, 1 milligram would be equal to 1 by 1 by 1000 gram. See? So you have to make a note of this in your notebook and make sure you are thorough with this. 1 kilogram equal to 1000 gram. So 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kilogram. So 1 gram equal to 1000 milligram and hence 1 milligram equal to 1 by 1000 gram. Now let me ask you a question. 
If 1 gram equal to 1 by 1000 kilogram, what would be 2 grams? It would be 2 by 1000 kilogram. What would be 3 gram? It will be 3 by 1000 kilogram. So to convert from gram to kilogram, you have to divide the given grams by 1000. And to convert kilogram to gram, you have to multiply the given kilogram by 1000. So 2 kilogram would be equal to 2 into 1000 gram. So just keep in mind one thing. When you convert from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, you have to multiply. And when you convert from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, you have to divide. That is bigger to smaller, you multiply. Smaller to bigger, you divide. Just keep this in your mind and it will be easy for you. Now we'll see an activity. This is from page number 131 in your textbook. You can look into your textbook. Circle the approximate weight of the following objects. You have four images given there and below each image you can see two choices are given. You have to guess what is the weight of the figure given there and you have to circle the possibly correct choice. Now let me show an example to you. The first one, you have got there a basket full of apples. How much do you think it will weigh? Would it weigh 2 kilogram or would it weigh 2 grams? It would possibly weigh 2 kilograms, right? So similarly, you have to guess the weight of the other three images shown here and you have to circle the possibly correct choice. You can do this as an activity now. Please pause this video, finish this activity and come back. Hope you are done with that. Now, let's discuss the answers one by one. The first one we've already seen, it is possibly two kilograms there. And the second word, you've got a milk truck. It would possibly weigh 1,200 kilogram. And the third one, you can see the picture of a small girl. She would possibly weigh 15 kilograms. Now the fourth one, you've got a bucket of flowers there. It would possibly weigh 200 grams. So I hope you got the answer is correct. Now let's move on to the questions one by one. The first question is from your textbook page number 131. Convert 3780 grams into kilograms and grams. So you are given a measurement in terms of grams. You are asked to convert that into a combination of equivalent kilograms and grams. So the question is just in terms of grams but we have to change it in terms of kilograms and grams, a combination of kilograms and grams. Now look at the question. So when you're given a question, a conversion question like this, the first thing you can do is to split the given measurement so that the conversion will be easier for you. So if you look at the question, you can see 3,780 grams is a little more than or a little extra than 3,000 grams. How much extra? 3,000 grams plus 780 grams, right? So we can split this 3780 as 3000 plus 780 grams. Let's see that. You can write 3780 grams equals 3000 grams plus 780 grams. So this helps with the conversion. Now 3000 gram we have got here and we already know that 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. So what would be 3000 gram? If 1000 gram equal 1 kilogram, 3000 gram would be 3 kilogram, right? How do we get that? See, you are changing from gram to kilogram. A smaller unit to a bigger unit. Smaller to bigger, what do we do? We have to divide. So, dividing this 3000 gram. So, to get 1 gram, what did we do? We divided both sides by 1000 and we got like 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kilogram. So, what would be 3000 gram? 3000 gram would be 3000 by 1000 kilogram. And what is 3000 by 1000? It is equal to 3 kilogram. So we have represented this 3000 gram as 3 kilogram. Our question is to express the given measurement as a combination of kilograms and grams. So we have got a kilogram part here. Now a little extra was also there which is expressed in grams. We have got 780 grams. That is already in terms of grams. So 
we can write this 3 kilogram and 780 gram together to express the given question as a combination of kilograms and grams. Let's see that. So the 3000 gram we have already changed to 3 kilogram plus the 780 gram from the question. So that is 3 kilogram plus 780 gram which is equal to 3 kilogram 780 gram written together. I hope this question is clear to you now. Now let's see the next one convert 2 kilogram 210 gram into grams. So here in the question we have got a measurement which is a combination of kilograms and grams. So we are asked to represent in terms of grams alone. Here we have got kilogram as well as gram but we have to change it to grams alone. So how do we do that? We have to change everything in the question into grams. So when you get a question like this, like I said before, it will be easier if you split the given measurement. So how can we split this 2 kilogram 210 gram? This one means an exact of 2 kilogram plus a little extra, 210 gram extra. So we can write this one as 2 kilogram plus 210 gram. And we already know 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram. So what will be 2 kilogram? 2 kilogram will be equal to 2 into 1000 gram. So 2 into 1000 equals 2000. So you can say 2 kilogram is equal to 2000 gram. So we have got this part converted to 2000 gram. Now we have an extra of 210 grams given in the question. You have to add this one to this one to get the total. So we can say 2 gram, sorry, 2 kilogram, 200 gram is equal to the 2000 gram, which represents the 2 kilogram part plus the 210 grams. So that equals a total weight of 2210 grams. Now we have got the given measurement in terms of grams alone. So I hope this is clear to you. Now we'll see one more question. Convert 5 gram 543 milligram into milligrams. So the previous two examples were between grams and kilograms. So this one is between gram and milligram. See here it is 5 gram and 543 milligrams which we can split into 5 grams plus 543 milligrams. So here it is a combination of grams and milligrams and we have to represent everything in terms of milligrams alone. So here we already have a milligram part and this part is in grams. So let's think of how we can change this gram part to milligrams. So how can we change from grams to milligram? We know 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligram. So what would be 5 gram? 5 gram would be equal to 5 into 1000 gram. Right? So 5 into 1000 is equal to 5000 milligram. So we have got 5000 milligram which is the equivalent of 5 grams. Now we already have a milligram part from the question. If you add these two, you will get the total quantity in terms of milligrams alone. So you can say 5 gram 543 milligram is equal to this 5000 which represents the 5 gram part plus the 543 milligram that is equal to 500 sorry 5543 milligrams so from a combination of grams and milligrams we have changed everything in terms of milligrams alone hope this is clear to you now convert 1523 milligram into grams and milligrams so here you are given a quantity in terms of milligrams but you have to change it into a combination of grams and milligrams. So like I said before let's think of how we can split the given measurement. So 1523 milligram that is 1000 milligram plus an extra of 523 milligram. So let's split that one 1523 milligram is equal to 1000 milligram plus 523 milligram. 
Now the conversion will be easy for you. So let's see the steps. First you split the given measurement as 1000 milligram plus 523 milligram. We already know 1000 milligram means it's 1 gram. Now we are going to replace this milligram in terms of gram. So let's write this 1000 milligram as 1 gram here. So that is 1523 milligram equals 1 gram which is equal to the 1000 milligram plus the 523 milligram. Why are we writing like this? To represent this as a combination of grams and milligrams as asked in the question. So this is same as writing them together like this. It is equal to 1 gram 523 milligram, a combination of grams and milligrams. So I hope this question is clear to you. Now you have to go through this topic through pages 130 and 132. Go through all these pages, go through the topic once again, then move on to exercise 9.3. You have got a few questions there. You have to work out all these questions in your notebook and you will be very thorough with these conversions. So once you are done with it, please to take a picture and send us to Teams. So children, that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.